Hi, this is Rahul from Tech Tutor and welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to do basic configurations for any Agile project. Whenever you create a new project, you will have some basic configurations or default configurations that get applied. And we are going to see how to change some of these basic configurations to suit your project. So when we when you go to projects and uh, click on the project name you will come to the uh, the view that I am just showing you uh, and uh, for doing the configuration changes the basic configuration changes you will need to have administrative rights and you will have to go into the administration uh, tab here and uh, by default as I was saying uh, all the issue types the workflow screens these will typically have you know the default schemes applied now I'm going to show you how to change it okay uh, the first thing that you will have to do is uh, under issue types you will see the default issue type scheme has got so many different issues right and for your uh, project you may and if it's a you know it's a, if it's an agile scrum project you may not you know uh, you may not want a bug or an environment to be applied and you you want to have a different scheme uh, for for me here I have already created a scheme for agile projects which I'm going to apply and uh, in order for us to do that click on the scheme the default issue type that we see here and under actions you click on use a different scheme here I'm going to change it to the agile issue types issue type screen a scheme which I have already created and this one here has got you know all the issue types that I want for my project so I'm going to click OK and now the agile issue type scheme has been applied for this so uh, that's how we you know go and uh, how, how we change the uh, the basic configurations uh, one thing that I always do whenever I create a new project is the first thing I always do is go and change the notifications um, you can always go ahead and you know quickly edit the email here like for here it's already me but you can change it uh, you know for many projects you will have a default uh, sender address uh, which means that any issue or any story or any any bug that gets created will be you know a notification will be sent to uh, this particular user uh, and you know you can you need to first of all go and change that otherwise you know the the person who is assigned may keep getting a lot of email messages which you know may not be intended for him uh, for me again you know it's I have already created a agile notification scheme which I'm going to apply uh, using the same method agile Jira notification scheme here for me and I'm going to associate that for my project so always uh, always ensure that uh, whenever you create a new project uh, you always go ahead and uh, you know change all the default configurations that you have applied uh, so that you know whenever you start with your project uh, you know all the all the right settings are applied to your project so that's how you know the basic configurations are done uh, in the further tutorials I'm going to show you how some of uh, you know how some of the fields or you know how some of the screen schemes can be changed so keep watching this channel uh, thanks for watching today's video and if you do have any comments please leave it I'll you know I'll certainly get back to you uh, if you have any queries on this thanks for watching again bye